talking ticks now, you may have heard talk recently about the red meat allergy that can develop from tick bites. According to the Centers for Disease Control, northeastern Oklahoma is part of the region of the country with the most reported cases of what's known as alpha-gal. OSU Extension Nutrition Specialist Dr. Janice Herman explains how that allergy can develop. So Lone Star ticks have been moving. They've been mostly in the east and southeast, but they are moving west and they are in Oklahoma, particularly more central and eastern Oklahoma. And the Lone Star tick, a bite from a Lone Star tick can trigger an, an allergic reaction that's called alpha-gal syndrome. Mammals have a compound called alpha-gal, but humans don't. And when a, the Lone Star tick uh, breeds on a mammal and then bites a human, they're not exactly sure, but it can trigger an allergic reaction to alpha-gal. Since mammalian meat does contain alpha-gal, people can develop an allergy to meat, such as beef or pork or venison. But also some people who have really severe alpha-gal syndrome can actually also develop an allergic reaction to products containing that, such as milk or even gelatin or beef broth. One thing that makes it difficult to pinpoint alpha-gal syndrome is that the allergic reactions occur later than would a food allergy. Food allergies usually, symptoms occur rapidly, whereas alpha-gal syndrome, you may not have symptoms until two to six hours after you've consumed the product. And a lot of times people don't associate that with the fact that they had uh, muscle meat. Symptoms of alpha-gal syndrome are very varied. That can also make it difficult to pinpoint. They can be respiratory, they can be skin, they can be gastrointestinal. And so, and again, not everybody has the same types of reactions. And what makes it further difficult is that sometimes people don't have a reaction each time they consume something containing alpha-gal. The way alpha-gal syndrome is diagnosed is uh, going to your healthcare provider and having a blood test that checks for antibodies in the blood for alpha-gal. The best way to avoid alpha-gal syndrome is to avoid tick bites and to follow your tick prevention guidelines. For tick prevention, OSU Extension entomologists say to always use some type of insect repellent like DEET before you go outside and to always do a tick check after you get back inside. Remember, though tick populations are higher in the summer, they are still active in the fall and winter, and so are the risks associated with tick bites and diseases. To learn more about ticks, go to sunup.okstate.edu.